Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out a new song, new video from Witherfall, Insidious. When we were at uh, Prague Power this year, uh, Joseph Michael was there and he teased us. He let us uh, listen to some new material that they're working on for their uh, upcoming new record. And here we are now to check out their latest video single and I'm all for it. Same. If, if the album is... Uh, a larger scale of the little synopsis that I heard while I was there, man, it's going to be an absolute banger of a record. Um, I would dare to say probably their best album to date, just based on what I heard. It was really good. It was really fucking good. So, anyhow, uh, are you ready to check this out? Yeah. All right, let's do this.
all. What do you think? Uh, before I talk about the song, let me just say a couple of things about the video. Uh, I, I really like the burlesque stuff, but uh, I, I want it to be a little bit more predominant, for lack of a better term. I, I need more of that. And when it's on, don't don't make it like black and red, like really hard to like uh, tell it apart and see what the well, hell is going on. That's how you don't get age restricted, you know? <sighs> Come on, man, it's blue balls. Like, I... I I really like my burlesque shit. By the way, speaking of burlesque, I got invited to attend in the new year in Toronto uh, a Star Wars burlesque show. By who? I think it's called The Empire Strips Back or something like that. I can't remember the name, but I, it, it's a play on words from Star Wars, and I and I think they're all in, like Star Wars characters, but it's a burlesque show. My friend Sumit, oh. he bought tickets. So he's like, do you want to go? He's like... I might, I might, like if I'm not doing anything that, ne I've never been to a burlesque show, I think it would be kind of interesting, look, you know what I mean? That's the excuse you're going to give mom. No, I told her, I invited her to go if she wants to go, then if she doesn't want to go, then it's on her, then I can go, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the trick you use, yeah, 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 because you know she's going to say no. That, well, that's, that's her problem, she can't say I didn't invite it, but what I'm saying is that for a guy my age, I feel like that's more classy than going to a strip joint, you go to a burlesque show, you know, I can yeah. have my pinky up. Have a drink. Wine. Wine, yeah. So, anyhow, I might be going... Sp plus, it's Star Wars related. You don't have to keep selling it. I don't know, like, man. You're, like, Princess trying to justify Leia. it. You know the Princess Leia scene when she's with Jabba the Hutt? That, that is very burlesque. Do you know that scene I'm talking I about? I'm talking about. So, uh, something along those lines. I hope it's it's part of the show. So, anyways, I enjoy that. Uh, I didn't know they, uh, they got uh, John uh, Goblicon on the video but good for them to get that cameo and um i think i saw kat von d and some of the scenes there before she blacked herself out did you hear about that you told me about that yeah she didn't do her face because she doesn't Obviously. want to be called uh, racist so any anyhow uh now that we got that out of the way uh, what do you think about the song you want me to go first i guess i'll go first okay. I, I really enjoyed the start uh this was something that when we were listening to the other ones uh, that I really liked is his... He can go from those harsh vocals to the, the clean, almost King Diamond-like. Yeah, uh, not almost. Very King Diamond-like. Very King Diamond-like. I even range. said it there when we were listening to it. Very, very King, King Diamond-like. Diamond uh, with those vocals. Especially, not, it's not only the range, it's the tone. The and, tone, the delivery. And the delivery itself. Something straight out of King Diamond. Yeah. Um, but I'm, the interesting part is, like you said, he can go from the the deeper lows to that. To that, uh, and I, I, the first it, it, it's a it's a bigger road. Yeah, to, to and travel that first like, part of the song I really longer. really enjoyed. Uh, in the middle, I'm gonna be completely honest. In the middle, that spoken lost words. me a bit, and then when it came back, I was back into it. But that middle part really killed me a little bit. I, I think it was more of. It wasn't the spoken word part, and it wasn't the guitar part. It was everything else that was being thrown in to it. To, like, fill spaces and stuff that didn't need to be filled. I feel like there was just too much going on. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't disagree completely with you. I think the way the song starts, because it's a song that starts... First of all, it, it's probably one of the heaviest songs I've heard from, from them. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? But just because it's heavy doesn't mean that they don't throw some prog stuff in there. That doesn't mean they don't, they don't give us other things. Um, I just feel like a song that starts off that guitar heavy, uh, with that kind of a vocal range, I think you have to almost push that envelope all the way through and not, and not really break it up, uh, with, with, uh, with more, uh, for, for lack of a better term, more atmospheric yeah, pieces, yeah. Well, you know what I mean? The part itself wasn't really needed in my opinion, but the fact that it was there was cool. I liked the, the slowness of the guitar, like... Not the snows, but you know the the intricate guitar sound with the 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 vocals and then the burlesque stuff in the back. I thought it was very classy. Like you had this, you had this slowed down guitar. It was very, it made it very classy. I know, but and I didn't, I didn't mind it. It didn't really need to be there, right? I didn't mind it. I think it was for me the fact that so much other stuff was thrown. I don't even remember. Like it's just stuff that was thrown in, and I was hearing other shit that, to be honest. It was it was losing it was it was kind of taking away from not only the vocal in that in that section but the, also the guitar, because it was kind of overshadowing the important stuff. So there was too much for you to process. Is that what's going on? <laughs> You're making me sound dumb here. No, it's, no, I'm not making you sound dumb. But no, I'm just... no, it's just yeah, it was just a lot. Like it was like 
it's kind of like how we we the whole thing about Prague where we, you, so much stuff is happening at once and you don't have time to breathe. I feel like I was. I feel like I was breathing. The sun started off talking, very non proggy but then it I'm finished off. About, very, it, it got proggier. Yeah, as it but progressed. Kind of that portion in general, it was starts off and it has me. It's like okay, this is nice. This this part, I don't know why it's here, but it's 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 good. But then it hits you with that the random shit coming in and it's like oh, okay you've kind of lost me from the part that i really liked at the start here you're losing me a bit then it stops and then the song kind of picks up again and i, and I like it when it picks up again I, for me personally i could have i could have lived without that middle piece yeah, yeah, yeah no i'm saying i could have lived without it but... i'm not saying it's not good i'm just saying i could have lived without it yeah but for the the, the reason i'm saying i could have lived without it is because of the momentum the song has it killed it at the beginning and it kills that momentum it, it kills that momentum now it comes out of it more proggy, so it doesn't necessarily come coming out of it the same way as you went in with the sound at the beginning. Is it song? It, it's almost like it's a jackal and hide, and that that moment in the middle there is your transformation from jackal to hide or hide to jackal. I, I never know which one is the monster and which one is the doctor. I guess it's Doctor Jackal and Mister Hyde. So, uh, going from Jackal to Hyde. So uh, that part in the middle, I, I understand why it's there because it's really to create that transformation. Then, then you see it in the, but in it the sound. It but maybe it doesn't need to go that long too. Well, it's not only that though. It kind of doesn't. It doesn't transition as well as it should. If that was the case, because it stops and then it starts again. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no transition. There's no smooth. Right. If there was a smooth transition, I would agree with you, but there was no smooth transition. But that doesn't mean that's not the idea behind it's it. It's the idea behind it, but it, I, I'm saying it wasn't executed well enough. for it to, At least for you. In my opinion, it, didn't, it wasn't executed well enough for the idea to click, right? Like, that may have been the focus, but when you do the stop and go, like, it, it kills whatever was before and it's now just restarting again. I, I, I that middle part to me would have worked really well as an intro. Yeah, to a song like to then again like the second half of the song could that could be the intro to that second half, and then you have a more progier song all around. The first half of the song, because of, of the heaviness that it has, because of the vocal range that it has, you almost want that to become the meat and potatoes of the track, and the track to be shorter, but to really live. Around that, that sound, heaviness, off of that and heaviness, and, that and off of that uh, of that vocal performance. Yeah. So you you could almost make a song that's like three and a half minutes just off of that, and that's your track right there. Then you can have that middle piece as the intro to, to the, the sec to another song that becomes that more progier song that came at the end. Putting them together, it felt like three songs. It felt like three songs in one. And because that middle piece, it's really long, and then you have that complete break before you go off. It, it, it makes things very bumpy there yeah. in the middle. It makes things very bumpy in the middle. I still really enjoy the track, and I still think it's one of their heaviest tracks. And then when you get to to that second half, I mean, if the guitars were maybe a little bit more heavy and straightforward in the first half, in the second half, it's a pure clinic of, like, you know, guitar playing. Not just proggy, but, like, overall, like, overall great guitar, guitar playing. playing. Like, that second half, the first half is about the heaviness and the vocal state control. And then the, the 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 first half. And then the second half is all about that guitar sound and that performance and that execution, like really putting on display everything that Jake knows how to do with a guitar. And and it's tremendous, tremendous. I I just feel like the overall song needed to be a little bit more streamlined. But having said that, if the concept of the track, if the idea behind the track is you starting off as one thing, and then turns out that you actually become another, which Looking at the lyrics, looking at the track, looking at the name of the song, I actually feel like that's the concept of the track. If that is the case, I understand why they built it that way, to really create that that divide, and then there's something that happens in the middle that it's uh, that almost stops you, and then it's a, a whole new life afterwards. I, I totally, from a concept point of view, I totally get it. I just don't know if the concept will translate well with the listener. Because the listener who's uh, who comes across the song on on uh, iTunes or or Spotify or whatever, you know, they may not sit down to overanalyze like, oh, you know, I wonder what this is doing and what no, is happening. No, it's just now. more of like uh, it feels like a collision. Feels like three songs. Yeah, mash up. You know what I mean? But I I enjoy the track because the first half is really good. 
I love the, the heavy and steady yeah, guys. I love the vocals. And that second half, or the third half, whatever you want to call it, if the second half is that bridge, the third half, that guitar playing is just outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. So to but me, still it's still a great the, song, but I... I still stand by the, the stuff in that middle part. Yeah, though. yeah. I think it's a great song, but it's a song that's a lot easier to appreciate if you're a fan of the band and you know what the band is all about. Exactly. If you're new to the band and you're discovering them and this is the song that you're discovering them with, you. it may not necessarily be as easy for that kind of a listener. It might be a little bit jarring. That's all. That's all. All right, guys. This is it. Witherfall, they're... Uh, I was going to say they're working on a new record, but I think the work is done. Now it's just a matter of when they're going to release it. So this is the first single. Uh, go hit them up in the social medias. Find out exactly what they've been up to or what they're up to. And we'll see you all at the next one. See ya.